Happy Monday, everybody. Stevie B here. Uh, it is November the 13th today, which means that it is day one of the Production Music Academy Black Friday sale, or I should just say uh, Black November sale. So all of my courses, uh, course bundles and membership tiers for the Academy are currently on sale and will remain on sale for the next two weeks. If you want more details on all of that, just check the links in the description of this video. And please feel free to hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions or hit me up over email too. You can reach me at steven at productionmusictools.com. You do need to sign up to the Academy to access the discounted courses. And if you click on the free Intro to Music licensing course link, uh, also in the description of this video, you can join up for free. So as usual, life is pretty hectic over here. I'm likely only gonna have time to do this one video uh, this week because there's a lot going on. But I wanna show you guys something pretty cool that I've been working on lately, and I think you'll find it interesting. Today, I'm gonna show you an orchestral trailer that I've uh, put together yesterday. And I want to highlight two products that I used in this trailer uh, in particular that I absolutely love. One of them is called Origins by a company called Westwood. I've reviewed uh, a few different products from Westwood in the last couple of months. And I got to say, uh, Westwood has really, really upped their game on this release. It is so cool. Go check out the Origins walkthrough on the Westwood website. Uh, they are packing a ton of value into this library, and I'll show you some of the highlights from it. Uh, in this track. I also want to highlight some of the amazing sample packs that Ava Music has on offer uh, in the trailer realm. Uh, I used a ton of them in this track and man, they are so badass. I love everything that Ava does. It's so useful for what I'm doing. And by the way, they have an insane discount running at the moment. Uh, I think like a lot of their products are 50% off, some even more. There's a link to Ava's stuff below. Uh, go check that out as well. Okay, cool. So let me show you this track. All right, so here's the session. Pretty big one. The arrangement's pretty simple. Uh, intro, build up, climactic section, and then short outro. What I'm gonna do here for you is play each section individually, and I'll talk about uh, all the tools that I use to bring it to life. So I'll play the intro now, and I'll turn it up a bit because it's pretty quiet. Here we go. Okay, so pretty minimal. And all of these samples that you're seeing here at the bottom of the session in red, they all come from Ava's uh, Aurora and Aversion pack. So they got quite a few sound effects packs. Uh, they sent me all of them. They're absolutely amazing and they're all discounted. I mainly sourced from the Aurora uh, pack, which is divided into one shots and loops. We got everything from like vocals to some guitar work, like insane Brahms like this. I love this one here. So I'm using a combination of these samples to spread some texture and set a scene for this intro. This intro is essentially just those samples combined with the piano uh, from Origins. So taking a look at the Origin piano, I think I've been saying Origins this whole time, it's singular Origin. This patch is called Dust Piano. Piano sounds like this. Perfect for a trailer intro. I'm also making use of some of the strings that Origin has to offer uh, in this intro as well. And I think that's what makes this library so amazing, is that we have a violins, violas, and cello patch that includes legato and a bunch of other interesting articulations, which I'll show you in a second. And not only are there strings and piano, but we have a double bass, we have a choir, we have an electric guitar, a ton of synth patches, and drums all in one library, it's crazy. We also have string ensemble patches. Uh, I'm using the Flotando from the string ensemble, which sounds like this. Halfway through our intro, I'm using the ensemble chords patch. And that ascending string line is being uh, further texturized using these two patches here. So we have the Vivid Cello Legato and the Cello Rebo, and I'll play these on their own.
So a bit more grit from that vivid cello legato. Sounds a bit more resiny. And then we have this recurring arpeggiated theme throughout the whole track using one of the origin synths. Now I gotta talk about these uh, origin synths. We got three whole pages of synth patches and these are all so cool, I love them. This organ-like pad called Millbrook Road, uh, I absolutely love this patch, so cool. This one's called Little Bird. So yeah, there's a lot of goodies uh, in here. Just a great collection of synths. And then last but not least for the intro, let's talk about this choir, also from Origin. There's quite a few articulations to choose from. It's very reminiscent of Spitfire's Eric Whitaker choir, but it's uh, a little smaller and much more intimate feeling. I'm using this improv uh, mm patch which has this kind of evolving feel to it. Adding the perfect texture to this uh, trailer intro, so cool. Okay, moving on to the buildup getting a little more intense. Let's take a listen. So coming back to the bottom of the session, continuing with uh, the one-shot samples from the Aversion and Aurora packs, but starting to add some cinematic hits. That's everything you see here. And then you probably notice this very distinctive uh, Origin choir patch. Just using the short uh, na articulation. Also introducing some spiccatos using my Nucleus uh, strings patch, Spitfire solo violin and origin spiccatos as well. Starting off pretty quiet in this buildup and then using volume automation to uh, bring them up gradually towards the end of this section. One of the other really cool things that origin features in the string libraries is this plucks patch. And I think they actually used uh, guitar picks. So it has kind of a, a pizzicato feel to it, but a little bit more pointed maybe. Sounds like this. Coming up to the top, uh, introducing some more string longs, and specifically what I think really ties this whole build-up section together is a combination of my Sonic Cinema Intimate Cello and Violin Legato, Texture using Arcus, and the Origin Cello Flotando Rebo. These together just sounded wonderful. Adding the Spitfire Aperture strings, Origin Flotando, and Organ using the Elysian Library, all together starting to sound a lot denser. I think a big part of making really effective trailer music is just taking very simple ideas and creating density with them. That doesn't necessarily have to mean like a ton of layering, but I think what it comes down to for me is just having the right tools for key moments during the track. And that Sonic Cinema Intimate Cello and Violin is a perfect example. It's the only time in this track that it gets used, but for that moment, it's exactly what I needed. So for this climactic section, uh, as you can see, I'm kind of letting go of some of these more intimate string patches. I'm continuing to use the Origin String Ensemble, and things are getting much more denser with the addition of the brass, which is a combination of Nucleus, Caspian Horns from Performance Samples, and Trailer Brass. The choir shorts and the longs also continue throughout this climactic section, and there's some important bass patches in here as well, which is a combination of the Nightfall 
library using a base pulse. I'm using the Eminence library from Ava, which is insanely useful if you're into trailer music. This is a library I use all the time for trailers, but actually it doesn't get that much use in this particular track just because I wanted to showcase some of the Ava samples. But normally uh, I would use Eminence quite a lot. There's an analog subsonic uh, bass patch from Alchemy here, which is one of the Logic stock synths, and a combination of really intense trailer hits from the Quantum pack from Ava. I have a few of my own trailer hits in the mix. We got Devastator, we got Cerberus, we got Damage Toms and Cymbals, and everything all together sounds like this. I think that covers almost everything that's in this track. It took like a solid day of work um, to get this finished. Trailer tracks, you know, tend to take a little bit longer just because there's a lot going on. And if you're interested to know more about how I write, mix, and master trailer music, like this. I have a course specifically on that subject, and it is one of the most comprehensive courses that I host on the Production Music Academy, and currently it is 50% off for the next two weeks. The course covers writing trailer music in three different styles, comes with a ton of resources, so definitely encourage you to grab that discounted price uh, if it's something that you're interested in learning more about. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. That's all I got for you today. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about music licensing, researching, and applying to music libraries, I've got a completely free course for you to get you started on that journey. Uh, there's a link to that in the description below as well. Feel free to hit it up, join the Academy, uh, take advantage of some of the discounts that I've got going on right now. And by all means, hit me up in the comments below. Always good to hear from you. And uh, hit that like button for me if you got some value from this video. I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.